Well, of course, the big news on this 36th day is that Paris Saint-Germain have been crowned Ligue 1 champions for the third time in their history. A 1-0 win over Lyon at Stade Gerland, courtesy of a Jeremy Menez goal, was enough to see the capital club clinch the title for the first time since the 1993-1994 season. A well-worked goal as Zlatan Ibrahimovic at the origin. Thiago Motta playing through for Menez here and a very cool finish. And just look what that meant to the players and to the coach, Carlo Ancelotti. Marseille, meanwhile, are guaranteed to finish second after beating Toulouse 2-1 at home. That means they're qualified for the group stages of next season's Champions League. Ghanaian international Andre Yu scored both of Marseille's goals, first heading in on the stroke of half-time and then concluding this neat move in the 62nd minute. He's now up to nine goals for the season. Toulouse did manage a late consolation goal through Israeli international Eden ben Bassat, but Marseille held on for all three points. Nice's hopes of a Champions League finish were dealt a serious blow as they were thrashed by Evian Tonangaya in Annecy. Local boy Kevin Berrigo showed superb control to fight Evian in front before Mohamed Rabiou made it 2-0 just after half-time. Well, Evian already romped to a 4-0 win over Lorient in midweek to book a place in the French Cup final and they were cruising here. Saber Khalifa added a third in the 56th minute. Khalifa added his second and Evian's fourth three minutes from time and this one is most definitely a contender for goal of the season. An absolutely unbelievable 70-yard strike from the Tunisian international, well worth a yellow card, to wrap up Evian's second 4-0 win in a row. They're now two points clear of the drop while Nice are in fifth. So it was a very good weekend for Lille. Thanks to defeats for Saint-Etienne and Nice, they took fourth spot in Ligue 1 after a comfortable win over Rance on Friday. Solomon Kalou got the ball rolling in the 20th minute, much to the delight of third-choice keeper Barrel Muku making his Ligue 1 debut. While well, Dimitri Payet got in on the act shortly after half-time, firing in one of the goals of the weekend to make it 2-0. Kalou then added his second and Lille's third 13 minutes from time to wrap up a 3-0 win at the Grand Stade. Lorient became the only team to beat Saint-Étienne in 2013 when they knocked them out of the French Cup. And they were at it again on Sunday, cruising to a home win that damages Lever's chances of a Champions League finish. Kevin monet Pake opened the scoring before Fabien Robert made it 2-0 in the 67th minute. Sante pulled one back through Kurt Zuma, heading in his second goal of the season and very similar to the one he scored against Lyon a few weeks ago. But Lorient had the final word. Yan Zhu for curling in this fine free kick in injury time to make it 3-1 at the final whistle. Bastia's hopes of a top half finish were boosted with an impressive home win over champions Montpellier. Claudio Beauvue put them 1-0 up in some style with his first goal in Ligue 1. John Utaka brought the visitors level, turning brilliantly before sweeping the ball home. But Anthony Modest restored Bastia's lead only a minute later to make it 2-1 with just over half an hour gone. And Modest added a third, his 14th of the season overall, to make it 3-1 at full time. After back-to-back 0-0 -back draws, Bordeaux got back to scoring-wise and more importantly winning-wise against Nancy. André Pocco gave them a rather scrappy lead before Henri Seve made it 2-0 on the stroke of half-time. He's now Bordeaux's top scorer with eight goals. But Nancy pulled one back in the 65th minute after an incredible error from Bordeaux keeper Cedric Carrasso. And they even drew level with 11 minutes to go as Salif Sané powered home a header from close range. But this was to be Bordeaux's day. Sheikh Diabate soaring majestically to head in the winner and make it 3-2 at the final whistle. Ren got off to a fine start away to Valenciennes with a lovely goal from Burkina Bay international Jonathan Petwapa on the half-hour mark. The host responded through Israeli international Mal Melikson six minutes before half-time. 
and after Rennes were reduced to nine men, Valenciennes made their numerical advantage count. Lindsay Rose making it 2-1 with his first league on goal. Before Kenny Lala scored his first league on goal and a remarkable one at that for 3-1. Jose Saez completed the route in injury time to secure a 4-1 win for Valenciennes. <laughs> Brest are the first team to be officially relegated to League 2 after losing at home to Socho. Sloan Priva opened the scoring in the 48th minute and he added a second nine minutes from time. 2-0 the final score and Evian's win over Nice means that there's no way back for Brest, who thus slumped to their ninth straight league undefeat. Finally, Twa kept their slim hopes for a dramatic escape alive with a win over Ajaxio. Florian Jarja with the game's only goal in the 16th minute. So plenty of goals on this 36th day then. 32 overall and the most important of the lot was the very last Jeremy Menezes which wraps up the league on title for PSG. Big wins for Marseille and Lille at the top and Evian and Socho at the bottom. So seven points clear with two games remaining. Paris cannot be caught and neither can Marseille in second. Third place in the Champions League spot that goes with it is still up for grabs though. So it's set to be a fascinating battle between Lyon Lille, Nice and Saint-Étienne. At the other end, Brest are gone and Nancy and Troyes remain in the danger zone in spite of their recent form. Evian aren't out of the woods just yet and even Rance and Ajaxio aren't 100% safe. Bastia's win means that they'll be back next season. Next week, all of the games kick off at 9pm on Saturday and all eyes will be on nice Leon, which could have a big say in who takes that coveted third spot. Saint-Étienne host Marseille, meanwhile, while newly crowned champions PSG welcome newly relegated Brest to Parc des Princes.